Oh no! <laughs> Just, <laughs> oh, I was joking around. I was gonna make a joke. <laughs> Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here at Real J.K. Calloway. Coming at you with the results for this week's Hashtag Skirmish Game. And this week we played Hashtag Why I Avoid the Gym. I guess a good reason would be you don't want to break the equipment. <laughs> we did trend number four in the U.S., so thank you everyone who played along. And a special thank you to my friends and fellow hosts with the Hashtag Roundup app. Uh, my kid had a bit of an oopsie on his head that morning, so I was late to my own game and they helped make it big, make it trend, and play along. So, huge thank you, especially to the people like TLC Princess and Bunny Hugger. Everyone in the community, thank you for playing along. I really appreciate it. And the three-year-old's fine. Draco's fine again. Bonk on his head, but he's cool. He's happy. And trying to break in the room as we speak. Having said that, let's get right into it. Our top ten for this week's hashtag skirmish game. Hashtag why I avoid the gym. Number 10 comes from at the Potsketeer. Fat is the new black. I'm not sure how to take this one. Does it mean like fat is cool? Because in my later years here, I'm getting pretty cool. <laughs> Number 9 comes from at aka underscore Tato. I get enough exercise running in my mouth. Oh, if only that were true. <laughs> Just beating down trolls on Twitter, I would have a six pack. I would have. Just bring. Number eight comes from at not sure where. I'm comfortable being chubby. Right? Isn't it nice? It's just comfortable. Like, let's say, for example, you have a cup of coffee while recording and you need somewhere to set it. It's just a nice thing to have. I'm holding with my other hand. If I was sitting, that choke would be real. Number seven comes from at yo mama eight 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 because going out for a jog is free and gym membership is about fifty bucks a month. Just straight logic works for me sometimes. Where have you found it's fifty bucks a month? Everywhere I look is like seventy to ninety. It sucks. I don't want to take a spin class. Just let me go on the treadmill for a while or something. Pretend to lift weights when no one's around. Number six comes from at Carl's Wall. Lifting a sandwich and a bottle to my mouth is enough exercise, thank you. I don't have a bottle as an example right now, but you know. The lighting is super weird. <laughs> Number five comes from at wheelies underscore Roger. With my pension savings, living to old age is a bad idea. Yeah, at this point it seems like, as far as money goes, I'm just trying to get the kids done with college and have them have their own career, and then I can check out. Like my, my work here is done. I don't foresee too many trips after retirement, you know what I mean? Like, just get them out of the house, making their own money. Uh, I'll get out of here. <laughs> Number four comes from at Steve Ludovich. If I wanted to see people sitting around taking selfies, I'll go to Starbucks. I can proudly say I've never taken a gym selfie. Mostly because I, I don't go. But I don't take any selfies, really. Like, even, like, taking a picture for my Twitter avatar. Eh. Mm. Like, all my pictures are weird. I don't photograph well. So it's a great idea to start a YouTube channel, isn't it? <laughs> Number three comes from at Kenov8. I'm into a different kind of fitness. Fitness whole pizza in my mouth. It's an old joke, but I loves it. Something I find super confusing. You ever watch those like hot dog eating contests on the 4th of July? And like the, the dudes that win in great shape. <laughs> I get that it's a calorie intake thing, and I'm sure they purge right after the show and whatnot, but ugh, 
I get that we're disgusting Americans, but like, do we need to make a competition out of gluttony? <laughs> Number two comes from at Lisa MW979 because everyone at the gym puts water bottles in the Pringle holder. I never thought of that. <laughs> You're brilliant. It would fit perfectly. Imagine the looks you would get if you're on an elliptical or something which is a Pringles can <laughs> just staring people down that look at you you know just grab a chip and all. Mm. can I help you now before we get to our number one here are some honorable mentions including one from the host at real JK Calloway one from me why should I pay a monthly fee to watch an old man walk around a locker room naked while screaming at someone on the phone in Russian? This is basically my extent of experience at Lifetime Fitness. <laughs> like it was before I even worked out. I went with a buddy of mine, Chris, and we thought we'd check out the place. I did the, the one-day trial thing, and we go to the locker room to change into shorts and whatnot, and there's just this dude. <laughs> there was no context missing here. He was pissed and just swinging <laughs> swinging in the midst of gray bush everywhere one from it cat funny I get plenty of exercise putting my spanks on this is a t-shirt mind you and it looks painted on I'm always reminded of that line from run fat boy run it's a great movie with Simon Pegg if you haven't seen it but he says the line I think it's like I'm not fat I'm just not fit Yep. <laughs> Somewhat svelte, but I let it go. One from at Bunny Hugger 75. Sweat is gross, especially other people's. Yeah, that ugh, just sitting down where someone else was just just sweating their ass off. There's a bunch of swass on the seat. And it's just uh, like I know that's a complaint of people. Is people that don't wipe down their their machine after using it but like do they have like Purell wipes or something some of those Clorox wipes at every machine because yeah otherwise I'm not no nope nope I'd rather be fat one from at Randy Lynn is in I can get humiliated at home for free and I do on a daily basis and it's not purposeful by any means it's just my wife is so hot She's still thin, she's had two kids, and she's breastfed both of them. And she does yoga on occasion, she does not work out, and she's still a freaking smoke show. <laughs> like, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, I'm like, very appreciative. But it's just kind of like, oh, you did that after two kids, and I look like this. And one from at Kesha Tenor. I heard there's people there, and I don't like people. Pretty much sums up all the responses to this game. <laughs> Just people are gross and stay away from me. The sweat everywhere, the selfies from the idiot people, the locker room psychos, it's just all one amalgam of just there's people there and no. And our number one for this week's hashtag skirmish game comes from at K underscore Inveray 83. It took 34 years to get this body. I'm not throwing all that away. Right? I'm saying, man. I ate bad food and didn't work out for so long. And you want me to just change what's been working? I landed and have so far kept a very hot piece of woman who's a great person on top of it with this. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm 37 now, and I'm gonna be 38 in a few months. And yeah, I got like I I gotta do something. I gotta get back into shape, or at least get my heart under control, because that thing's ready to explode. <laughs> gotta start making changes, man. I do want to see you know the men my children become, and uh, if I don't take care of myself, that's not an option. So it's pretty simple. But yes, I will miss my pooch. It's my friend. I call him Charles. Because he's in charge. And there it is, my friends. Our top ten for this week's hashtag skirmish game. Hashtag why I avoid the gym. Thank you, everyone, for playing along. You guys made it a hit. I wasn't around for most of it, so I really appreciate you playing along and making it a lot of fun to read through the results. So, 
You guys rule. On to the plugs. Make sure you download the hashtag Roundup app. It is great. Promotes all the best weekly hashtag games, including my game. Hashtag Skirmish. We play it every single Friday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And, of course, for me, make sure you click that subscribe button because it just lets me know you enjoy these things. And they're fun. And it is fun. I like doing this for you guys. And giving you shout-outs. Making it so you're on the internet. Ah. <sighs> My name is J.K. Galloway, and we will talk to you again next week.